Hi, this is uh, Driveway DIY here. Uh, Going to talk about another video uh, to do with uh, compressing springs. Obviously, when you're a DIYer, uh, you know when you're working in a garage, obviously you have all the equipment and various presses and things like that to be able to do it safely. But when you're working on your driveway or garage at home, one of the issues you have is you're very limited to what you can use. Uh, one of the things I use is these. Uh, spring compressor tools uh, there's a few things out there but this is mainly what I use uh, these things are so dangerous so dangerous but if you have to do this I'm going to show you some of the simple ways of doing it uh, make sure you're safe make sure you know what you're doing make sure you read up on it watch some more videos on it talk to people who know how to do this sort of thing or even like some people do, even I've done in the past, just take it to a garage and get it done for you. They'll charge you a small nominal fee. Uh, it's worth it than having one of these go off in your face. They're, uh, when these springs are loaded, I mean, this is a small rear spring. This is just for an example. Some of the springs are very, you know, they're quite big and they're quite powerful. Take a lot of compressing and some of these tools aren't up to it. Uh, there are various other tools out there as well. Uh, which are probably bigger and better for these sort of jobs but if you're going to do it and you have to do it this is probably what you're going to end up doing uh, so when, you, when you're doing it with the equipment that you've got with the tools that you've got make sure you set it up obviously wear your safety glasses which is what I do I always wear safety glasses might even be worth wearing gloves might even be worth doing it outside Make sure you're in a good space, keep your face out of the way, uh, keep anything fragile out of the way. Uh, when these things go off, they're, go they're going to fucking blow your head off. They really are. They really are. They're so dangerous. But if you've got to do it, this is how pretty much I, I do it myself. Uh, so you've got equipment, make sure everything's level, every sh everything's balanced with each other, everything's well put in on it. Uh, I've seen some cases people using zip ties and various other things, but use the equipment we've got and be careful and just take your time with it uh, and obviously if you're taking springs apart there's usually a reason why they're either rusty, they're broken or uh, there's an issue with suspension whatever these things just take your time with it and just be careful that's all, that's all I can say but when I'm, when I'm compressing it there's two ways of doing it well, there's probably more ways of doing it but there's two ways I do it anyway it's one with a ratchet Obviously get the right size socket and just do it slowly. Take your time with it, there's no rush, no rush. And do it. Just do so many clicks out on each side. Just make sure it compresses evenly. Perhaps do count up in tens. How many times you uh, wind it? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Same on the other side. Ten. Uh, if you've got an impact, that might be even better, even quicker. Uh, just, <coughs> just take your time with it. There's no rush. Make sure that it's compressing evenly at the same time and nothing's slipping. But yeah, you can use a uh, compressor uh, impact as well. Might be a bit quicker for you. Just be careful of the slip. See how quick that's compressing. I'm not going to do it anymore. But this is how you compress the spring. That's pretty safe. I mean, it's loaded. Start to become loaded up already. Uh, it's not slipping. It's not. There's no problems with it at the moment. Keep the threads oiled up. Always check your equipment to make sure that everything's as it should be. There's no damage on your equipment because obviously if these threads are, aren't uh, in good shape then it's going to slip as well. Uh, might even be worth every now and then giving it an oil. Oil the threads up just to keep them in good shape. But I'm a DIY, that's what you got to remember. And most of the time you lot, you lot are as well. You know, if you've got to do this, it's usually a one-off, or you might be doing it for a friend because they haven't got a clue and they've got no money. Uh, but 
just be safe, just be safe out there, just take your time, don't rush it, be careful of your equipment, always check your equipment, make sure everything's steady as you go until the point of release, and obviously keep it balanced when you're, uh, when you're driving them down, driving them up, try and keep it to the same as you come, up, as you come out, as you come back, because I'd hate for any of you to be hit one of these go off, you see them on YouTube, them going off and even professionals getting hit in the face because they're trying to rush the job. These these suspension springs, they're like this for a reason, they're strong. They're there to take a lot of weight on them. So just be careful out there, safety glasses, wear gloves, always have gloves, or anything like that, keep your face out of the way. Uh, and make sure and just make sure you know what you're doing. It's really important to make sure you know what you're doing. There's been a lot of injuries out there, but I'm going to cut it short now. I've got nothing else to say really on this. Just be careful. Uh, on driveway DIY, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned something from this. Uh, see you soon.